Today, I'm going to be taking you through the best operator for every rank in Rainbow Six Siege. Please do keep in mind that this is completely based on my personal opinion and my experiences in each of these ranks. And so if you disagree with anything I say throughout this video, do just remember that you are objectively wrong. We're going to start off in copper and work our way up through the ranks. Chapters will be added as well, so you can skip around the video at your own leisure. Okay, so for copper players, I believe the best operator for you guys is Sledge. My reasoning for this is that if you're struggling to get out of copper, then it's likely that you don't have a great great grasp on the other aspects of the game yet, and so picking a very simple operator like Sledge can help you focus on other areas of the game which you need to work on as well. It helps as well that Sledge's AR, the L85, is really light on recoil and overall is a very simple weapon to get the hang of, so that can aid in your aim as well. I won't be doing this for every rank, but if you're looking for someone who is comparatively simple on defense, I would recommend Rook, since you literally just have to put down your armor at the start of the prep phase and your work is done. Moving up to bronze, I have chosen Fuse. Fuse is actually, in my opinion, opinion one of the better operators in the game currently and can work pretty well in higher ranks, but he's also a decent pick in lower ranks for a completely different reason. Higher ranks will tend to bring Fuse to help clear utility in sight, or maybe flush a defender off of a specific position, but in lower ranks he's far more likely to be able to grab a few free kills with his cluster charges. Once again, he's also a pretty simple operator like Sledge, you kind of just put his things down and set them off. However, you do have to make sure that you are fusing the correct areas, so I would recommend using your drones to try and find places to fuse if your map knowledge is lacking. Also, make sure there's no teammates in there either. Fuse's AK is one of the better weapons in the game, and like Sledge, he's also a 3 armor, and so he can tank a few shots in a gunfight if you're still working on your aim. Up into silver now, we have Capcan. Now we're getting out of these super, super low ranks, Capcan requires a little more thought behind him. Silver players are far less likely to check doorways, even if they know the enemies have a Capcan. However, the thought you have to put in comes down to how you will distribute his traps around the map. You can either try and take someone out by putting 2 or 3 on one doorway, or play it safe and spread out all 5 in different areas. Either way, the purpose purpose for Capcan in lower ranks is essentially to make gunfights easier, since his traps allow you to whittle down the enemy's HP. It helps that his gun is also pretty solid, and he has a C4, which as we all know is a very solid secondary gadget. For gold, my suggested operator is actually Kavira. Cav is an extremely high risk, high reward operator, however the risk aspect only gets lower the lower down in the ranks you go, and I think gold is about as high a rank as she can be used to bring consistent value every round. She relies on both the enemy's lack of team play and their lack of droning, both of which isn't too prominent in gold, however does begin to ramp up in plat and above. It also helps that she's an incredibly fun operator to play, and there's no real feeling in Siege like pulling off an interrogation. However, her weapons are absolutely dog shit, so you do have to be able to hit your shots when the time comes. You might not want to ring her every round, since even golds will begin to adapt after losing a couple rounds to a Cav in Terror, but overall Cav is essentially the perfect character to terrorize low ranks with. Moving up into platinum, we have Osa. If you're struggling to get out of plat, it's probably not your gun play which is holding you back, and instead it's more likely to be something like your team play which is lacking. Osa is essentially a decent middle ground between being able to play around your team and also getting stuff done on her own. Her shields are fantastic for taking map control and giving your team the advantage in gunfights, but at the same time can also be great for getting the diffuser down. She can also bring secondary EMPs to help the hard breach with getting the wall open. Once again, she's another operator with pretty strong weaponry, so you can still play the TDM meta with her to some degree, even despite her being a one speed. Osa is essentially an operator which can be played both aggressively and defensively, which is something that I believe people stuck in Platinum may benefit from. The operator I've chosen for Emerald is Solace. This is because once you get out of Plat, the game begins to be played a lot more around drones, gadgetry, and planting the diffuser as opposed to solely gun skill. Solace is obviously perfect for countering this, being able to spot drones and even the people using them, and also being a great deterrent for planting the diffuser. She essentially just makes everything easier if the attackers are using a lot of electronics. She can flank and avoid drones and air jabs at the same time, she can play below and and kill the diffuser planter, or she can even just simply play wherever she likes and relay the information about the attackers to her teammates and let the guns do the rest. Speaking of her guns, the P90 is a surprisingly solid weapon, almost solely due to its fire rate and lack of recoil, and I'm sure the SMG-11 needs no introduction. The shotgun, however, is kind of mid, but when you're bringing the SMG-11 as a secondary, then it doesn't matter all that much. Overall, she's a broken operator, and you should use her before she gets nerfed. Going up into diamond, I have maybe a controversial pick, which is going to be Monty. She'll play isn't extremely common in Siege, and naturally when it does occur, the defenders often have to adjust their strat to fit around it. This is especially true for Monty, who can apply pressure to defenders in a way that almost no other character can, literally just by standing there. Menacingly. 
The recent shield rework, which I made a video about, by the way, which you should totally go and watch, has also benefited Monty and his ability to take map control significantly. The reason I suggest him over other characters without shields is simply because he can change the entire course of a round if the rest of your team plays around him correctly in a way that no other operator with a gun can. However, he is, of course, a very difficult character to play, and as I mentioned, is heavily reliant on team play. But if you're making it to Diamond, then hopefully that shouldn't be too hard to come by. Finally, we have Champion, and the operator I've chosen is going to be Dokabi. Doka is essentially the strongest operator in the game at the moment, and most champs are already bringing her a bunch for that reason. She has a great DMR, two solid secondaries, or the option of a Gon 6 for util clearing, secondary EMPs for assisting the hard breaches, the ability to both reveal the locations of every defender on the map, and at the same time ensure that they can't be on cams for that period of time too, twice throughout the round, and the bonus ability to hack defender cams for her team if she can find a defender phone. As you can see, she basically can do everything that you could ever want. And so when you're grinding for elo against, in theory, the best players in the game, then you may as well be using the best operator in the game. But that is going to wrap it up for this video. If you did enjoy, then please do remember to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. It very much helps me out and I greatly appreciate it. Let me know down in the comments if you agree or disagree with any of these choices. But that's it from me. I will catch you in the next one.